We understand that building a successful resuscitation program can be a challenge. The first challenge is to ensure high quality. Most healthcare providers don't have the opportunity to perform CPR as a normal part of their clinical practice. In fact, many rarely perform CPR after their annual or biannual training course. Research shows that CPR compression and ventilation skills deteriorate from lack of use in as little as three months after training, and so does overall quality of CPR. Another challenge is compliance. How can healthcare institutions ensure quality CPR and demonstrate adherence to protocols? Currently, busy healthcare professionals spend countless hours collating, confirming and documenting attendance required for external and internal reporting. There is also a considerable cost of training in terms of staff time and effort. Current methods of providing staff with CPR training not only has a direct cost in terms of staff attending off-ward trainings and fees for instructors, but there are also indirect costs, like loss of time on the ward or at the bedside, which can result in reduced patient care. The Resuscitation Quality Improvement RQI program was designed to address these challenges. RQI enables healthcare providers to train in short, frequent intervals known as low-dose, high-frequency training. This approach has been proven to maintain CPR skills. In fact, Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas reported that one year after the implementation of RQI, they had observed an approximate 21% increase in survival from cardiac arrest in the hospital. RQI also provides performance feedback so you not only maintain your CPR skills, but improve them. With RQI, both the participant and the educators can all see performance to determine areas that need improvement. RQI Analytics also provides data-rich reporting, which is valuable when it comes to auditing and management reporting. With RQI, you always know you have the information you need on hand when you need it. Another benefit is cost savings, both direct and indirect costs. Healthcare providers can train in 10-minute intervals at their workplace during times that best suit them around the clock. Imagine if you had 1,000 staff members trained per year for three and a half hours each in basic life support. By implementing the RQI program, you could reduce the training by at least one hour per person, minimum. That is a reduction of 1,000 hours per year. That means 1,000 hours for more patient care. RQI offers improved resuscitation quality, systematic and data-rich reporting to ensure compliance, overall cost savings. Most importantly, not only are healthcare professionals better trained, but they also have more time more time for what matters most, saving lives.